If I went through all of the statistics to show you how much improvement this Sycamore football program has made in the past year, well, we'd be here for a long time. Outside the program, there were many eyeballs being caught by what Indiana State did in Brookings, South Dakota. 34 and a half point underdogs, trailing by as many as 18 twice in the second half to come back and nearly knock off the third ranked team in the country in South Dakota State. Inside the program though, it is that too with more of a focus on nearly knocking off because it's still a defeat. It's positive, but it's not positive until we win. And, and the bottom line is winning. And that's really what we're striving for. And yes, are there a lot of good things that happen? Is there a lot in the whole process of a game that takes place that is, is moving in the right direction? Absolutely. But the only positive you get is when you win. You know, we still lost. It, it, it hurts. It's still something that we have to correct. Our guys know that. I mean, they don't prepare like they prepare to go out and just compete and stay in the game. I mean, they go out and prepare like they prepare and compete to win. And, uh, you know, there's going to be times when you don't play well and you win, and you do play well and you don't win. And so either way, you know, but I think that uh, I don't even think that we addressed it, to be honest with you. I, I don't think it was a thought that we had going through our mind as a staff that we were concerned about those guys. We know how bad these guys want to win. And, and the way we see them every day and the way that we're with them every day, um, it's an unbelievable group that um, I and the rest of these coaches are extremely fortunate to work with every day. The way that these guys come to work and lead each other and compete with each other, um, they're not doing this for moral victories. They're doing this for, 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 for wins. An argument could be made the two most improved teams in the league will duke it out this weekend here in Terre Haute for homecoming. The Bears have come a long way under coach Dave Steckel since being beaten by an average of 43 and a half points in his first season in 2015 to now knocking off two ranked opponents for the first time in the same season since 2013. Bigger and they're stronger, probably, probably much the same way we are. I'm sure they put that emphasis there. I think they're more athletic across the board from a year ago. Um, you know, both those linebackers are back and they're really good players, eight and 52. They're really good players for them. Uh, you know, up front, you know, they've always been solid up front. Um, you know, they have a lot of movement and, and they're athletic and that's why they move them. And then they added a junior college kid, number 27, who, who, who's got some wiggle to him in the pass rush. I think he leads them in sacks. And then on the back end, they do a good job with, with with coverage and, and keeping everything in front of them. And then when they want to come up a man, they do a good job with it. So they mix it up, they disguise it. It's, 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 a, it's a quality, quality, quality defense. Every week is that way in this league. Woke some people up probably a couple weeks ago and they're going to get a, a, a win against the Illinois State. I mean, that, that's a huge win, competed with Oklahoma State. I mean, um, you know, got a big win against Northern Arizona, you know, pretty, pretty decided in pretty decided fashion. You know, I think that um, they're the same way. I mean, they've got dynamic capability. Um, you know, they stress your eyes uh, in communication pre and post snap. And it, it can be, there's a lot of bells and whistles and, and, you know, we've spent so much time just trying to make sure that all these motion, and, you know, everything is, has got to be critical and on point there. And you saw that happen a little bit last week with some of the stuff that they were able to do against South Dakota and really get them out of position. Um, and, and it's not a flaw. You, you look at it and you say, well, there's not necessarily a flaw schematically. It's just, again, you stress players' eyes, and I think that that's what they do a great job of. For more on Indiana State football's homecoming matchup with the Missouri State Bears on Saturday, stay right here at GoSycamores.com.